So guys, I've learned about a new feature that you can actually speed up the game. I don't know if you heard about that or not, but I learned it right now. It's here in the settings and it makes everything so much faster. Look at this, this is hilarious. Yeah, everything's way faster and we'll talk about how you can use it to make your daily tasks faster and if it's useful or not overall. Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. So yes, the new speed is here and it's been here for a while already because I haven't noticed when it appeared. But yeah, um, I know that it will put additional strain on your phone, so if you're using the older phones it might make it slower, but I think two times speed with the lower details might be a good option for some specific tasks. So I tested it for a few days and I've learned that first of all if you'll be scrolling something you can kinda scroll way too fast. I tried it on the phone and uh, specifically when you're doing something like Peaks of Time or Voyage of Wonders your map can go way way too far away. Although when you're playing it on the Bluestacks it's not an issue because you basically hold your finger on the ground and yeah if your phone is too weak you can always download the blue stacks using the link in the description and use it like that so uh yeah that, that happened right now you you see that scrolling is kind of crazy and it's a really a problem when you're using the phone it can be cr really clunky but other than that there is a good uh, additional bonus let's take a look at this how long it will take us to go from here to here it was almost instantly. So that is the speed, that is the speed that you will get in the Voyages of Wonders when you're searching that, in the peaks of time, in all the adventures, it will make everything so much easier. So let's go to this area from there and bam, we are just on the light speed. So this is one of the good options, how you can use it additional speeds, uh, that's uh, peaks of time, Voyage of Wonders, and it's also really useful in the Misty Valley because over here, Sometimes you have to run around and it takes so much time, but with this thing it's almost instant. Moreover, all the user interface, all those options, they load faster. So the only thing that's not speed up are the combat. So as you can see here, everything is speed up here, but if we click battle, it will be on our normal 4x speed. Um, I would like it to speed up the finish in the fight when, when you win and everyone is happy. Because that takes a lot of time and it will make progression in the towers and everywhere way faster. But other than that, yeah, this animation. After you win, it can speed up that animation and it will be great. And the victory screen over here, where else it can be useful? Your summoning. Oh my god, what is this? When you summon in, let's go for friendship summons. We can use those. Uh, now everything here is going way faster. So it's basically an instant summons right now. Uh, I don't know if I will utilize it in my summoning session because... I don't know, it will be way too fast. I will see, maybe. But it kind of moves away the effect of waiting, and that's really good. For your daily tasks, it also helps with the uh, guild screen. That white loading thing is not the game interaction speed. It's like how long it will take you to load the interface of your guild ground. But all the interface movements that you have here will be way faster. So, for example, if you're pushing the King's Tower over here, did we push here today already? I'm not sure. Yes, we did. Uh, you can go through those levels really fast. So, for example, right now I'm really low on some levels and I want to go up. And that speed up will help a lot because uh, unlocking the new floor will be almost instant. So, if you need to do like 50 of those, that will be way faster. Although the fight will stay the same. Yes, uh, we didn't win this. So, yeah, that will help you here. Another good option where it will help is Arcane Labyrinth. Uh, before that it was like the longest journey for you. So now if you use the right heroes, uh, so the fights will go fast. After that, the moment, like this is the longest part right now anyway. The moment when you get the relic and you move on to the next uh, step over here is instant. So that will be way faster as well. It won't save you that much time. It won't save you minutes or hours, but... Overall, over time, it will sum up, it will add up, and that will make your progression way better and easier and faster. Mm, so yeah, Arcane Labyrinth is another option. Abyssal Expedition or the Hunting Grounds, Hunting Fields will be another good idea, but uh, yeah, honestly, the main usage for these are Voyage of Wonders and Peaks of Time Adventures, where you have to travel along distances, so I would say that it's mostly useful over there. Um, the question is if you want to use it or not, because with this option on the game looks kinda weird. Take a look at all those animations, we haven't took a look at the heroes yet, that's kinda weird looking, so yeah, you can't enjoy the game. Even when you're doing the battles on 4x speed, it's already a mess, 
but if you are doing this and i sometimes actually turn off the port time speed to enjoy the character animation same goes for the character screen so over there on the high speed you won't enjoy like the game the character are character mechanics character animation and that's actually pretty sad so yeah it's up to you if you want to use it or not uh there is that, that opportunity, specifically when you want to do a lot of grinding, pushing, replaying something, uh, you know, doing mix maxing, that might be a good option. But if you just want to casually enjoy the game, I think I would actually turn it off. Because first of all, the way the game behaves on 6x speed is kind of weird. You will understand when you'll try it, let me know in the comments if you feel it or not. Like when you swipe your finger around to kind of move around the screen or something, it will slide all the way out. The same goes for the hero screen over here. So if you do a little bit of this, it's like, whoa, you're already at the bottom of the list. How come? It doesn't work like that on the PC though, once again. So it's a good, it's working really good in combination with blue stacks. Let's put it like that. Yeah, but uh, for comfortable playing, I would go for maybe two times speed. It won't be that crazy. Six times speed, moreover, it won't load your phone that much and uh, it would be good. But I personally kind of love that one times speed animation if if that increased speed would work at the end of the combat like when you guys are celebrating the victory or the enemies are celebrating the victory that would be way better because that is the longest part like the longest wait when you're doing uh, arcane labyrinth campaign progression but usually arcane labyrinth that's the most fights you get during the day so either introduce a skip button over here so we can do the automatic results or let us get that uh, four times speed over here and uh, six times speed on this stage when the enemies are already defeated and it won't affect the um, actual uh, battle outcome let's put it like that i understand that developers want their money because you know that function times four isn't available for the newer players and we all want that that's significant quality of life improvement but yeah uh it's 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 really uh, preventing you from doing all that stuff way more effectively specifically if you guys have several accounts i know how painful is that i tried to manage five accounts at one day and it never worked well so yeah for those situations that speed increase is invulnerable invaluable oh my god i'm sorry invaluable yeah so uh yeah i just wanted to let you know that that function is here because uh i haven't saw the patch notes about this game accelerator i haven't saw patch notes about that i just randomly updated the game and then i wanted to to get the high details back up and then i was like what is this so yeah that's a good option that would help you a lot guys so yeah that's an interesting option that you might want to use and if you if your phone is weak you can turn off the animation over here and all that make the settings a bit lower and in turn like you will be able to run at a faster speed but then again right now at this stage i don't think it's worth it that much unless you're doing some grinding in the voyage of wonders or peaks of time or uh, i always forget how that thing is named uh, the misty valley yes so yeah guys let me know in the comments what do you think about that increased speed if you knew about that or not because i learned it just like few days ago i was really surprised uh and uh, what do you think about that speed increase if it's useful or not while you're going there don't forget to leave a like share this video with your friends and guildies and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet make sure to hit the bell button so you don't miss any new videos and uh, check the pinned comment in the video description for additional links we have afk arena guides over there we have afk arena hero breakdowns with all the new heroes and i'll be adding the old ones as well we have uh, what else we have discord link discord is a nice place to be joining talk with others talk with me over there in the channels and that's a nice place to be anyway you will love it then there is my social media which i start to run slowly but it's there and uh i think that's it there are some other links that you might like anyway so yeah and specifically the bluestacks download link right <laughs> so yeah guys thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this small video about the, the increased speed i was really surprised about how it works and uh that's about it for now so that out the svidanya